Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss what how to enable link SQL tool in Visual Studio 2019. The first uh, we need to go add uh, tools and here click on connect to database. So SQL Server database. Okay, if you want then you can connect anyone. So let's uh, connect SQL Server and uh, if you don't know about the server name, let's write uh, local host and here SQL authentication here SA and a one two three four is the password now here click on drop down and here select the database and click on test connection and after uh, giving this all correct information click on OK now here you can uh, see at this place so uh, desktop and here Adam data weights, so it's come there so it's uh, successfully connected with uh, connected with the SQL server now here after so let's go to tools and here click on get tools and feature click on get tools on feature and here after the next uh, option so wait a uh, few seconds Now here you can see Visual Studio installer it's uh, opening and uh, this is the install and available product here almost uh, done. So add here at this place so net must be connected. So when the net uh, it's uh, connected here you can see this all option. Now you can separately install whatever you like uh, so here click on individual component and uh, here it's uh, hard to search where is the link so just uh, right here link option and here you can see a uh, link to SQL tools so that I already uh, downloaded and installed so here you need to enable this option enable and here after, after that here you can see modify option you need to uh, click on the modify and here install details so here csr visual compiler ms link to sql option so you need to install this option now here you can see enterprise or addition that i'm using so when you install this now here after you get to right click on the project and here add now click on add here new item so new item now uh, next uh, let's go to data and here you can see uh, this link to SQL class so here you can use uh, link to SQL it's come there because uh, link to SQL that I already installed ok now here you can see visual c sharp link to sql cross mapped to relational object now you need to click on add option so it's uh, currently adding now here opening file and here you can see uh, here you can see uh, if you scroll down here you can see this is the data class 1 and uh, two file it's uh, created one is for layout next is for designer CS and here it's uh, telling about the object relational designer allow you to visualize data class in your code so this is the server explorer and here this is the toolbox so here you can see this all toolbox now click on server explorer so we have this uh, server explorer option now uh, let's uh, drag uh, actor into dbml uh, page so here this is the option on the actor ok now here after let's uh, drag a film and uh, here you can see this is the film id and uh, here i could not find uh, actor related options if you want to delete right click on it here delete option yes and here after let's uh, drag film actor and film ok 
okay so you can drag multiple or uh, tables into it and here you can see film id film id so if you want to make the relationship between these two okay so here we have uh, right click on it here you can see association option so this is the film actor now use the child cross film and if you want to do the relationship so relation with actor so this is the actor id and uh, film of actor id right click on it and here you can see somewhere uh, of film id title okay so here this is the film id now let's uh, select a film id because film id column present in actor as well as uh, film now let's uh, select uh, this option click on ok here you can see the relationship between uh, this two table it's uh, made and here you can see there are so many references it's created system data link data data set this all option it's come there so this is the simplest way we can connect a uh, link to Visual Studio 2019. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.